This problem is an example of what I call two-body kinematics, where you have to keep track of two things and figure out some relationship between them. So here we have two uh, mob members marching from opposite end zones towards each other. And one is just carrying a piccolo, so they're going five uh, feet per second. And the other is carrying a sousaphone, so they're going one foot per second. So to start any problem, you draw it. So here we have sort of one goal line here, and a piccolo player, and another one here, and a sousaphone player. And let's see, so we know their, their speed. This one is going at five feet per second, and this one's going a little slower at one foot per second. And I think to get started, you could think about what equations you're probably going to need. You're probably going to use d equals vt, right? How far they go. So let's call this person the piccolo 1 and the sousaphone 2. And you can think, well, where do they meet? We've got to know where they are. But in d equals vt, we don't know d and we don't know t. And we have two velocities, but then we have two d equals vts. So it seems like there's more to know about this problem. And the key is here. Where do they meet? Often when you have problems with multiple objects moving, there's some condition where they're at the same place at the same time. That's what meet means here. The two objects are in the same place at the same time. And that's the mathematical part you need to be able to work a problem. So one way to figure it out is to notice the word meet and think about what that means. Another way might be if you were to uh, do a position time graph. So let's do one. This is, if you're not sure what to do, this is always a good idea. So let's see, there's time, and uh, yeah, time, and then here is position along the x-axis, which I guess we'll just say is this way. So first let's look at the uh, piccolo player going five feet per second, so we'll draw that with a nice big high slope like that. So this is one. And now we need x versus time for the sousaphone player. And you can see the slope's going to be lower, but in addition, they're not starting at the origin. So I drew this one. Uh, the piccolo is starting at the origin, one and two. But the one starts at the origin. Two is starting way out here at 300 feet. But the, pic the, the sousaphone is out here, so we'll call this 300, and that's zero. So they start here, and they're walking backwards. They said one foot per second, and then the problem doesn't say that it's backwards, but it says they're going towards each other, so they must be going opposite directions. So. So if it's going this way, it's a negative slope, and it's 1 instead of 5, so it's a weaker slope. So it's kind of like that, something like that. All right. So if you don't recognize what to do from the word meet, you might recognize what to do when you see this, and you might notice, oh, I have a specific time where they're going to be in the same place, meet. So that's the key. So really, to get this problem started, you want to find that time when they meet. And I like to give it a little star, just to remind yourself, I'm not solving something as a function of time. I'm looking for a specific time. OK, so let's say they meet at the same place at the same time t star. So now let's get them in the same place. So now we can write the little kinematics equation for each of them. So x1 equals x1 naught plus v1t, and x2 equals x2 naught plus v2t. That's just how they would both move. Um, for now, it's not t star, because this is still a function of where they are at any time. Let's uh, put in actual numbers now. So x1 has no initial position. It starts at the origin, the piccolo player. So 0 plus its velocity is 5. So I'll just say 5t. We'll do this in feet and seconds. x2 equals, so they do have an initial position. They're starting out at 300, 300 feet, the length of the football field. So 300. Um, Plus v2, well, this v we said is negative, but it's coming the other way, so minus 1 times t, minus t. 
Okay, so they meet at the same place at the same time. So what we've got to do is say, when does x1 equal x2? That's all you got to do. So you say, okay, I'll make x1 5t equal 300 minus t. And now I'll put the star on it, because this is a specific time. This is, this is the time when that is true. So we solve that, bring this over here, 6t equals 300, t star equals 50 seconds. So the question was where. So if it had said when and where they meet, you'd have when. Now you just need where. Well, Piccolo player going 5 feet per second for 50 seconds, so they're going to meet at about 250 feet, somewhere around there. Or you could check it for the uh, sousaphone player. At 50 seconds, they are at 300 minus 50, they're also at 250. They better be end up being at the same place, because that's the whole point of the problem. So I think that's like, I don't know, the 17 yard line. Like so two body problems, you always got to look for the condition, the relationship between the two bodies.